So I wanted to talk about uh, developing your technique as a sprinter, and this is pretty important because as a committed athlete, committed sprinter, you want to get better at your, at your sport, you want to get better and faster, and this might mean you have to, well, you might think you have to improve your technique. And you might be you're coaching you, might be actually going over the your video analysis and stuff like that and looking at your start and looking at where how you're starting and trying to improve, make improvements here and there. Now, that's, that's fine as long as the improvements are small enough that you can take it all in and the improvements are small enough so you don't tighten up and it's not the improvements aren't taking you out of your your natural running technique as an athlete you run differently from everybody else your body is different from everybody else and you you're going to your that means your running technique is going to be different from everybody else and this is something that's kind of in natural to you and individual to you and you need to find that now, the only real way is to find that is to get into the natural state of the body. And how do you do that? That's mostly through relaxation. What you try to do, what a lot of coaches do, is they start to analyze an athlete into the textbook way of sprinting and say, well, your back leg's not doing that, or your arm's not doing this, and when you come out of the blocks, your foot is here, and stuff like that. Yes, that's fine, but the problem with putting, imposing those changes into your technique is that involves one thing, thinking. And thinking is the enemy of performance. Thinking about what you need to do and what you're trying to do is the enemy of performance and it tightens you up. There's no room for thinking in proper sprinting performance. No room for it. Thinking of any kind and when you're trying to get something right, and the actual act of trying is you that's not in a relaxed state. So this is something that you have to minimize in your training. You have to make sure that, first of all, that you're in a relaxed state and you develop this. There's, you need to be comfortable in your own skin on the track, in the training session and it, before a race. This is the fundamental thing. If you're trying to impose technique changes on a, you, if you're tense and anxious, this is gonna bring about frustration, this is gonna slow you down, and it's gonna tighten you up. This is not what you need. So the development of technique starts with relaxation, because relaxation is the only real major re running technique you need to put in. Because relaxation, when you're relaxed, you're actually in a state where your body will move naturally. That's the fundamental. Now, as, is there a place for other technique changes? Yes, I think there is, but only after this one. Once you're relaxed, you're, I think 80% of it is done. 80% of your running technique is done. There's nothing better than you coming out of the blocks in a natural state, in a relaxed state. That's you coming out of blocks and relaxed, and you come out in your, in, in your proper state that's going to give you the most power and generate the most kind of rhythm coming out of the blocks. And relaxation is the only way to access that rhythm. So you really need to make sure you relax first. That's the major running technique change that you need to put in. And once you do that, then you start to develop any minor changes. And if any kind of running technique it has to be made, it has to be minor. It has to be something that's going to put in, that's going to help you put in less effort. And it's something that's not going to change you so much that you have to think about doing it. When you have to think about doing it, that's when you're going to tighten up. And that's a balancing act that you have to find through experience. That's why I've done a previous video about how athletes reach their running peak in the late 20s, mid to, like, mid to late 20s probably. It's because they've got the experience of, of, uh, of competing and stuff like that. They've gone through mistakes and that's when they start to make the, the balance of experience wisdom and still have the, the physical capabilities. And that's why you need to give yourself time to develop those technique changes, but and they make sure they're small, incremental changes that are not going to affect you and stop uh, get you thinking too much. That's the problem, as I say, with technique changes is that they put on you, they make you think too much and they will frustrate you if they're too major. And they, they will frustrate you if those technique changes are taking you out of your natural state. 
if your coach has gotten vision of how you think, how he thinks you should, should be running, and it's not right for you, that's not going to help you. And you need to be relaxed. That's going to put you in that natural state. So I don't want to re repeat myself too much. Hope that video gives you a better understanding. Get, learn to be relaxed. Get into your body. Get into your breath. Get into the present moment. Avoid, not avoid the, the nerves, but notice the nerves. Say, so what to your nerves? And that is the best way to actually get yourself into that natural state. And it's the starting point for you. And the more often you do it, the better it will be for you and the more better running technique that is right for you, you, you will have. Thanks for watching the video and see you in the next one. Hey guys, thanks very much for watching that video. Just a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel so you get more videos like this that are invaluable in helping you get faster times in the 100 meters, 200 meters or 400 meters. Also have a look in the description at my courses, There's my mini course, my starter program for relaxation for sprinters and also my full program down there. Have a look at both those options. And also if you actually sign up for my email newsletter, you get 20% off my big full uh, relaxation program as well. So take a look at the options below and thanks again.